hi guys welcome back to my channel so i can't really talk too loud because everybody's still sleeping it is exactly i don't have a watch it is seven o'clock in the morning and i just came from work and i was about to eat and it's my favorite soup in the whole wide world well not really put to the rinse it's my favorite soup but i love plum butter too so I wanted to make this video and I did decide that every time I'm eating, not every time, but like most of the time when I'm eating, I'll film it so I can be able to have more content on my channel. This year, I just want to be so consistent with uploading and entertaining you guys. <sighs> so this is like the best way to do it. So today we are having... um palm butter with some rice nothing too major so now i'm just gonna put it this is like my least favorite rice i don't really like this way i like the jasmine rice i'm washing my hand first so as you know I do not eat with no spoon on my channel, so I will be using my hand. My spoon that God gave me, S-P-O-O-N, that's what I'll be using to eat. Now I'm just going to put the palm butter in here. So, let me just start by telling you guys that, <laughs> can you believe I did my first 24 hours of working yesterday? I work from 7 a.m. to 7 a.m. So, I just literally got out, got out of work. I got in the shower, you know. I don't usually eat in the morning because every time I eat in the morning it really like messes with my stomach but I've been at work all day yesterday and I didn't eat anything but so now my stomach is calling for some African food but no the thing is I packed food, it's just that I forgot the food, it's just that I forgot the food and nobody wanted to bring the food to me to work because my job is a little bit far. Whew, I didn't know I was that thirsty. But anyways, yeah. So nobody wanted to bring me food to work yesterday. So I've been... My man bought me food, but... I've been craving African food. You know, African cannot go 24 hours without eating African food. That's just crazy. When you have access to the African food, it's impossible. For you to not eat African food. Yeah. So, as soon as I got home, this is the first thing I'm doing. Mm -mm. I'm just grateful for now. I cook. So, this is my mother with a with kid today.
So, let me show you guys how to make this dish. And again, I have a video on my channel. Look at guys. No makeup, nothing. Just my bare face. That's how you know I really just came from work. Like, right after I eat, I'm just gonna lay down. Because I only had like two or three hours of disease sleeping time. So I'm a little tired. Well, I'm more hungry than tired. So I'm more hungry than tired. So I'm gonna eat first and then. I know it's not good, but I'm gonna eat first and then sleep. So first things first, you're gonna start by washing your your palm butter. Take the, ah, you take the palm butter out of the hair. You no, actually, first of all, first things first, you'll start by wash um boiling like. It depends on how many cans of palm butter you have. You'll boil your water. If you're making like two cans of palm butter, I will say boil about two to three cups of water. <laughs> boil about two or three cups of water. And then take your palm butter out of your can, out the can, put it in a deep bowl. And then pour the boiling water on the palm butter and then stir it. Stir it until you don't see any more like palm butter in clumps in the in the water. And then So after you finish stirring it, you'll realize that it's still boiling hot. Obviously, because you just added boiling water to it, you're just going to put it to the side. You're going to put it to the side and let it set. This process allowed the pump, the, all the, like the, the little, um, It's not dirt. It's like um, the little. I don't really know how to describe it, but it's like it's like from the actual pumna seed. It's just all the things that they left on the. All the things that they left from the actual seed. Basically. But we call it dirt. So it's all the dirt. All the dirt will sink to the bottom as the palm butter is cooling. So once it starts cooling, you let it sit for like the first time you let it sit for like 10 to 20 minutes. Nine, 10 to 15 minutes. And then you'll use your um your sifter, your strainer, whatever you call it. Using your screener, you're gonna put it into another bowl or a pot or whatever you wanna do. And then you're gonna leave that again to sit for another like 10 to 15 minutes. And then at that point, you'll put your meat on the stove. Whatever kind of meat you wanna use. Oh, I've gotta tell you guys how, what kind of meat I have in here. So I have dry turkey, bony, fish, and um, beef foot, but we call it cow, cow foot, 
but I know most people call your cow beef so beef foot or cow foot so yeah <clears throat> and then while your meat is cooking the palm butter will be setting again and then when you sift through it the first time you will have to leave a little once you start seeing the dirt in the in the bowl that's when you stop when you're pouring and you realize that or you'll see all the dirt at the bottom of the of the bowl you will just strain it until you start seeing like the dirt sliding into the into the strainer that's when you stop I and mean, you'll throw that away I'm like a little bit of palm butter water is gonna be left in the bowl that is okay you just throw that away and then you do it again so you leave you put your meat on the stove for like 15 10 to 15 minutes once that um that palm butter is ready you just sift it into the pot where your meat is already you can do the screening of the with of the palm butter like two to three times. It depends on how how dirty you think your palm butter is. I usually do it three times just to be on the safe side. The last one is just to be on the safe side, and I don't really leave it for that long. I leave it for like five to six minutes, and then I screen it, and then you put it. You put the palm butter into your pot with the with the meat. Since your meat is cooked for like 10 to 15 minutes, it's not really fully cooked all the way. So the water from the palm butter will just finish up the cooking. You add your seasoning, your bell pepper. You, wow, I keep saying bell peppers. You add your seasonings, your habanero peppers, Maggie Q, chicken flavor, bouillon, whatever you want to add. And like I said, I have a video on my channel showing you guys how to make this. So go ahead and check that out so yeah after that you let it cook until it's thick enough not too thick that is because once it gets cold it gets thicker so not too thick you just want to be able to like once you put it in the spoon you want it to fall like fall back down easily not like thick if you get it too too thick you can also still add more water stir that up and allow it to cook a little not like a whole cup of water like a little bit of water a like half a cup of water put it in it stir it around a little bit and then let it cook on low for about five to six minutes and it's ready but once if you do it right and you and you didn't let it get um get too thick once it starts getting to like the like the right the your thickness that you like you stop it other people people other people like it um different different amount of <laughs> different type of thickness like i don't know some people like it really thick some people like it like really loose like a uh, liquidy type of stuff my friend that's how she makes it because i don't really i don't think they eat it with rice i think they eat it with just for food but if you're eating the rice, you'll make it a little bit more thicker. If you're eating it just for food, you'll make it watery. Not watery, but like loose. Not you'll you'll notice when you see it. So yeah. But me when I'm making it, I like to be I like it to be in the middle. Between loose and thick. But not too loose and not too thick. Not too dry and not too thick. What I just said. Not too dry and not too loose yeah so yeah that's how i like mine so yeah and then after that you're ready is ready to eat you eat it with your rice or you eat it with your fufu i'll definitely be making another video eating it with fufu i love it i think i like it more with fufu than even with rice but yeah you eat it with fufu rice whatever you want to eat it with you can even eat it by yourself if that's what you prefer but yeah that's how you make palm butter
Så kan vi lige om at have nogle mætter på. Okay, guys. That is it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's because it's in the morning. That's why I got feel fast, or if it's because I drank this whole cup of water, bottle of water. But I got feel pretty fast this morning. This time around, or maybe I'm just getting too sleepy now. So, yeah. I'm full with the food, but I want water. Thank you guys so much for watching please do not forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and i hope to see you guys in my next video